Good morning from West Virginia. The mountains of West Virginia, I should say. As you can see, we got snow coming down. Very, very beautiful. I woke up this morning, I walked out to check on my animals, and I thought, what would I have done if I'd woke up? No power. It's like 29 degrees out of here, you know? How would I have took care of my family? My wife and my foster daughter, you know? It's something to think about. What would we do? Well, I have propane stove, you know, that I could resort to. My house is equipped for wood stove, which is I am going to get. The wife and I, we done talked about that, you know. Because the way things is looking this day and age, with all these wars going on around us, overseas, you know, I'm talking about coming in and attacking us, you know, with possibly power outages or whatever, you know. It's a little scary. I mean, I live out here in the mountains where we could help protect each other, you know, as friends and family around here. I got to thinking about a lot of you people out there in the cities. What would you do if they were something to happen? Can you protect yourselves? I hope you can. Which is, I've been watching some other people, you know, on YouTube. And they mention a lot about, you know, the people in these major cities. What would happen to them? You know, they say a lot of them could possibly die. You know, of starvation or whatever. But I am thankful that I do live in the mountains of West Virginia. I really, really am. I mean, I live out here, you know, I got ways of protecting myself, means of eating, you know, and it's just like I told my wife, I said, what would we do, you know, and a lot of people I'm sure you never think of this as butter to cook with, you know, or your milk. How would you really be able to cook without butter and milk unless you save grease, which is my wife, she does. You know, she likes to save bacon grease or whatever, you know, for for backup. Um, I told her, you know, I am going to be looking for means of getting an animal that, you know, I can actually milk, which is, for me around here, I think a goat or a couple of goats, you know, to milk and make cheese or whatever, you know, even to help out my family, you know. Um, I got family that their kids can only, you know, uh, drink goat's milk. They can't drink other dairy. You know, that would be a means of helping my grandchildren and my family, you know, if it would come down to that, which is I am going to do it. So I got the proper here to do it. And for survival, how are we on ammo? Food, canned foods, which is I got a lot of preparation to do myself, which is my wife and I, we are. You know, we really are. Because I'm hearing we're getting a lot of immigrants coming across the border, which is that's going to put a strain on America, people right down to us here in these mountains. It's gonna be a means we gotta take care of ourselves and and our families if we can. You know, because I got grandbabies, step grandbabies, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to take care of my family. And I hope you are doing the same. You know, and I hope you have means of protecting yourselves. You know, hopefully you got a good Couple of good rifles, you know, right down to the 22, a hunting rifle, you know, a good sidearm. 
you know, for house protection. And whenever you're out at Walmart or wherever you're at, I mean, I, wherever I go, I carry. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm standing out here in my field and I have my gun, the P365 nine millimeter. It's got 12 round mag in it. A lot of times I carry the Glock. I love a Glock. You know, a lot of people run down a Glock, but to me, Glock is one of the best out there on the market. They make one of the best guns and so does SIG. And I got other guns, you know, I mean, right down to the 1911s or whatever. But whenever I'm out, I'm going to protect myself and my wife and my family. I got people that say they love to see me when I come in Walmart because they know I'm a carrying. They say, Elmer, I feel safe when you're in Walmart. And that's a good thing. It makes me feel good, you know, to know that people feel safe whenever people like you and I were around, you know, good people. And here in West Virginia, we got some people that are not too good. You know, they'd just at least knock you in the head if they knew you had money on you for their drugs or whatever. But I worry. I worry about us American people. I really, really do. You know, I, like I said, I hope you people that are out there in these cities, you really sit and think about, you know, what are you going to do? How are you going to protect your families? I'm not trying to scare nobody, but I know me and my family, we're going to protect each other. You know, it's just like yesterday, I helped my brother, you know, do some butchering. We butchered some hogs yesterday, you know, for him and his family. For means of survival, if things do go bad, and, and they will can a lot of that. You know, but like I said, um, I'll help anybody any way I can, but I'm telling you right now, when it comes down to survival, I'm going to mean take care of my immediate family. You know, and I've had a lot of people say, well, when something goes down, I'm going to come to you. Well, I will try to help you as much as I can, but when it gets bad, I'm going to be thinking about, you know, my immediate family, my friends, you know, and that's why we want to build alliance with <clears throat> a lot of people around us, you know, get to know your neighbors, you know, and build you a MAGA, you know, because here in the mountains, we can do that. You know, we really can. But I, I figured I'd make a little video. I woke up this morning when I walked out and seen this, I'm thinking, man, a lot of us be hurting, you know, when things did go to where we'd wake up without power. As you can see, I mean, we got a beautiful place. We're out here. I'm not going to show my home. People that know me know where I live, you know. But I feel I feel safe. I really do, you know, because me and my wife and my family, we're doing what we can do to protect ourselves, you know, in any means, so. But I figured I'd do a little video, you know, just pay attention to your surroundings, people, and prepare, you know, get you some ways of, of means of protecting yourself, food, or whatever, you know. Uh, like I said, find you some ways of protecting you and your family. God bless you from West Virginia. Let me know what you think. You know, let me know what you think about what's going on. Leave a comment. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you will. God bless. Have a good day. Bye-bye.